The man was armed. And if Mara hadn't come behind him and whacked him over the head the way she did, I might be dead right now. I thought he was after her, and I tried to block the staircase. With Shane's lacrosse stick. And you think this guy was after Tony? Somebody tried to kill Danny Santos last night, and I believe the incidents are related. It's okay. You can go as slowly as you need to. But you will sit down and you'll start giving us some answers. I got nothing to say to you. Well, that's fine. You can focus on me then. What the hell were you thinking coming to this house last night? And what were you thinking letting him do that? Look, don't blame Mara, okay? We each went to the lighthouse. She didn't know I was going to be there. I, I was bleeding. I... Well, that happens when you get shot. She thought I was dying. She brought me here. Oh, I see. So if you're going to bleed to death, you want to do it in my daughter's bed. Dad, he needed help. W what happened to calling 911? That's what everybody else in this room would have done, Mara. I couldn't. I, I didn't understand why he'd been shot, and I was afraid to call the police because I was afraid that the guy was still following him. Okay, so you brought him back here where you and your mom and your brother could have all been caught in the crossfire. You put three people's lives in danger. This was your choice Josh, because you were trying to save your own Josh, life. Josh, Josh, take it easy, okay? I know you want a piece of him. But you know what? You're going to have to get in line because Harley and I get the first shot. You know, we've got a dead guy over at the Bowers. We had a man down here, and we still have no idea where your cousin is. Which means you have a lot of explaining to do, starting right now. Dax, can you get me everything I need? I know, it's a tall order. Consider it done. Oh, thanks. You are a lifesaver, okay? Disguise the package and leave it at the cafe where you met Philip the other day. By noon, if you can manage that. Timing isn't the problem. Philip's involvement could be. Edmund's put a tail on him. He's probably monitoring his cell phone, too. That's okay. Philip's one step ahead of him. Bye. How the blazes did he get away? Edmund, I need to speak to you. Locate him now. Get some men out to the airport. Keep an eye on the Spalding jet. Detain anyone who tries to board it. Philip? Shook his tail. I thought it was helping Cassie. Now I'm short of it. Edmund Cassie paid me a visit. Good Lord, when? In the middle of the night. You were gone. Couldn't sleep. I went for a walk. How did she get through palace security? I don't know. I woke up and there she was by the bed with her hand over my mouth. She told me that she's fed up with San Cristobal, that all she wants is to get Richard home to Springfield. And she plans on breaking him out of prison sometime today. She asked for my help. Did she really? Yes. And obviously, I was conflicted about it because of my loyalty to you. But I agreed, and she told me the plan. So now that we know, you can stop her. Outstanding, Beth. Good show. Guards that Edmund assigned to follow me need a refresher course. You lost them easily. It was pathetic. Right. And I got uh, I got everything that you asked me to get. Uh, I also got these. One for you, one for me. Awesome. Yeah, these have got a much better signal encryption on them. Edmund won't be able to track them. I already put my number in there. It's speed dial one. Thank you okay. so much. Actually, Josh. let me do the other one there. Oh, jeans. Yeah, who likes it like that? This is. Perfect. I don't think anybody's going to mistake you for a princess in those. That's the idea. You can't be incognito in fashion. <laughs> if it wasn't a problem last night. What are you talking about? When I got off the phone with you, I, I, uh, I was going nuts. 
I was so worried about Richard that I had to go see him. I had to make sure he was okay, and so I sneaked into the palace. Oh, Kathy, please. I had Tell to me you're joking. make sure he was okay, Phil. I got in through the tunnels, and I found him. And luckily, the guard next to his cell was asleep, and I can't believe I did this, but I... I took the key from the guard because I thought I can get him out of here. I can save him. And I get into his cell and he's chained to the wall. They have him chained to the wall. But he's okay. He's okay. And then Edmund showed up and I got the hell out of there. So, and he didn't see me. Thank God. So, well, you've, you've been kind of busy. Yeah, well, you know, I thought, since I'm here and Edmund is obviously occupied, why not pay Beth a visit? Just too much. So. So. I gave her a big emotional story, and she bought it, and she is going to help us with the escape. Um, let me ask you something. Um, do you, do you do you want me to help you with the jailbreak part, or would you like to try to do that single-handed too? I need your no, help. No, it's okay. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I mean, you're doing so well flying. So I need your help. Are you sure? Yes. Well, then get over here and tell me what Beth said. You're unbelievable. Well, I told her everything that we said we were going to tell her, and she, like that. I mean, well, it took a little I know it is. Yeah, I so. know, but it may be our best shot at spraying Richard. I'm just... I just hope I can pull my part of it off. Where where the hell am I going to get my hands oh, on Dax. an authentic... Dax is going to have everything for you at noon at the cafe. Okay. Okay, well, you got some company for a couple hours then because I can't go back to the palace now. I'm sure Edmund's already heard I slipped the tail. It's going to be all over you. Yeah. Listen, let me ask you. About, about the thing with Beth, are, are you sure that she bought it? Because the two of you have been at each other's throats for a couple of weeks. I mean, and now you're asking her for help, so. Well, it doesn't matter if she bought it. I mean, what matters is if she tells Edmund. Well, it matters in that if she thinks that you're up to something, we could end up walking into a trap. This is perfect, Philip. It's perfect. Because when they think they figured out, they won't have figured out. Trust me, this plan is foolproof. How, Dax? How is it possible that an entire army can be looking for Cassie and that she can enter the palace and make her way to this very room? Your Highness, I am... Incompetent? Inept? Oh, yes, Dax, you're that and so much more. Edmund, we don't have much time. Cassie has concocted a scheme to help Richard escape. And she was foolish enough to tell Beth about it, thinking she could trust her. Some of Richard's followers were staged a commotion on the north side of the palace. Something so big that guards from the rest of the palace will have to leave their posts to respond to it. Thereby creating a security vacuum through which she plans on slipping Richard out of the palace. Not bad. Yes, but it's not going to work, Dax. Because you're going to double the troops, eliminating the security vacuum. Of course. Uh, when will we need the reinforcements, sir? Well, Cassie didn't give Beth a timetable. So she could make a move at any moment. I'll get right on it. I, oh, Dax. Remember where your loyalties lie. If I find out that you've been bopped over the head again, this time I'll just finish the job. Yes, sir. Ditto. Thank you. Now comes the interesting part. Will Cassie follow through on the plan she outlined here? Or was she purposely feeding me misinformation and the real plan is something quite different? That's why you told Dax to double the guard. To make it look as if we'd been duped. Good heavens, Beth. Pretty soon you'll be outwitting me. Oh, I doubt that. Cassie's clever. But is she clever enough? It's always better to overestimate your opponent. Quite right. Have you been reading Machiavelli? Don't worry about it. Cassie's out to trick us. We'll just trick her first. Someone put a hit out on Manny. Yeah, we know that. The question is who? So... Look, Danny wanted to leave the business so he could start a life with his wife and kid. I guess 
Somebody thought he was a threat. Somebody meaning the other families? Look, who's telling the story, me or you? <sighs> this guy. So I went <clears throat> to the Bowers to warn Danny. Okay, sure enough, the shooters are in the bushes, and I grabbed Danny, and we, we got the hell out of there. Great, so that uh, means that you left Michelle and the baby defenseless. There, there's a good move. It was on Danny, not Michelle. And so, on the way to the car from the house, they fired and I got clipped. I don't suppose you shot back here, huh? I don't remember. Okay, then what yeah. happened? What no, well, hold on one second. Let, let, let's go back for a second here. So, who's the stiff that we found at the Bowers? Stiff? I, I don't know, maybe one of the shooters. I see. And uh, did you maybe want to take a guess as to how they died? Maybe his buddy shot him. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure that was it. Okay, after you and Danny navigated your way safely to the car, what happened next? I drove like Mario Andretti. What do you think? And then the other shooter just happened to follow you. Yeah, till, till I lost him. And then I drove straight to the bus station, waited till Danny got his ticket, and then made sure he got safely on the bus. Bus to where? Cincinnati. That's easy enough. I'll check it out. <sighs> By that point... I knew I was hit, I started bleeding, and I, I was passing out, so I knew I had to go somewhere safe. I couldn't go to Michelle's because then I put her in harm's way, so I went to the lighthouse. Why didn't you go to your grandmother's? Same reason I didn't go to my brother Ray's. I would have, you know, put the heat on them. Well, it's too bad you didn't care about this family as much. Josh, please. Well, let's, let's go back to the lighthouse, then what? Mara was there, you know the rest. Tony. Who were the shooters? I've never seen them before. You know what she means, Santos. Who are they working for? Look, maybe I can jump. Hey, 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 back off, back off. Not now. What you need to be doing is getting him to the hospital. Calm down, Mara. We'll get him checked uh, out. Don't worry about it. And we'll take this young man to the station and we'll finish all of this. Oh, I gotta, I gotta see Michelle first, though. Why? Because I gotta make sure she's all right. She's my family, all right? I gotta tell her Danny got away. All right, fine. We'll take you to see Michelle so we can compare both stories, see who's telling the truth, all right? Let's go. Easy, oh, easy. Yes. Come on. Good night, folks. We'll be in touch, okay? Take care. I'll see you later. No, you won't. Let's go. Uh, are they gone? Yes. They're gone. It's just family now. Minus one. I'll be upstairs. Coward. I think that's a good idea, son. Well, who wants to go first? Let me. Even know where to start, Mara. H how many times have you and me and your mom had this very same conversation? Huh? How many times? Too many. Yes, too many times, Mara. So how many more times are we going to have it before you understand that trouble follows Tony Santos around? What can I do to make you understand that? You don't have to do anything. I get it. You get what, Mara? I get why you and Dad are so upset. You know, something terrible happened here last night. You were scared to death, and so was I, and you guys that think that it's Tony's fault. Well, that's because it is Tony's fault. Even though the whole reason I went to the lighthouse in the first place was to say goodbye to Tony in my head because I needed to get over him. We, we saw each other there. We were back together. I bring him over here. And like you said, trouble followed. And you think that that's because Tony's Tony. I understand your point of view. Probably for the first time. That's good. And I'm, I'm really sorry if I've caused you guys any pain or trouble. Mara, it's good. It is good. I mean, this, this is a good conversation and it's a good start. I mean, for once we're having a real conversation and not just yelling at each other. She still hasn't said she's going to stop seeing him. That's because I won't. I love Tony, and I want to be with him now more than ever. Mara, an armed man broke into this house last night and almost killed your mom. Do you understand that? And you just said that, that you wanted to get over Tony so you could move on. That was before. 
because he kept pushing me away and he hurt, it hurt me so bad I couldn't bear it. But now I know why. It's because he knew that this whole thing was going down with Danny and he, and he was trying to keep me safe. <laughs> but he, he, he didn't keep you safe, did he, Mara? It's not Tony's fault that I was at the lighthouse. But it's his fault that you ended up here. Dad, he was out of his head from pain and loss of blood. What did you want me to do? Leave him there to die? Mara, li Can listen just, to me now. This please just take a step back and calm down. I'm calm. There's nothing more to say. Tony spent the last few weeks doing everything he can, taking care of me. Not to mention Danny and Michelle. Maybe you guys can't respect him for that, but I can. And now that the danger is past, and there aren't any issues anymore, and I can see him again, I will. Where do you think you're going? You don't want to know. Mara, do not do this. Bud. Don't do Bud. this. Don't. Why not? Because she's got a point. Down. Where's Danny? He got away. I put him on a bus to Cincinnati. Oh, thank God. What happened to you? Took a bullet. It's nothing. Don't worry. Well, it doesn't look like nothing. Where have you been all this time? Where's your been? Well, Tony boy here took a little stroll down memory lane to the lighthouse, who, lo and behold, happened to have Mara there. Who took him back to her house. Which is exactly where the surviving shooter figured he might go. That's what happened at the Lewis's this morning? Because I, I heard about it on the news. They didn't say anything about you being there. Well, we decided to keep Tony's name out of it, but we figured he had enough excitement for one day. Jill, are you all right? Uh, Meg, but what are you doing here? We heard what happened. What? We? The baby's okay. Yeah. And Danny? He, he got away. Yeah, and, and I'm okay, too, in case you're wondering. Mrs. Santos, we warned Danny that something like this might happen. Hold on one second. What is this we stuff? And we felt you would that be... if he had cooperated with us, this whole thing could have been avoided. Excuse me. I don't know exactly who you Listen are. Listen to me. Listen to me right here. Mary and I are the only two friends that you have right now. Okay, so Michelle, who Mary? exactly Just is this guy? Who the hell are you? Detective Harley Cooper. Detective Frank Cooper. She's a Cooper, you're a Cooper. What are you, a Cooper, too? No, they call me Mr. Tibbs. Now, answer my partner's questions and show us some ID, okay? Special Agent Gus Ituro, Federal Task Force, Organized Crime. May, how do you know this guy? Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute, you're not. Agent Mary Murdo, FBI, reporting to Special Agent Ituro. Well, so much for the ditzy cigarette girl. What could Cassie's real plan be? Any scenario would have to involve getting Richard out of his cell. So the logical response would be to assign a dozen guards to watch him. But for some reason you're reluctant to do that. Well, it's just postponing the inevitable, isn't it? Cassie would just wait a few days and then try again. Now, she's nothing if she's not determined, so... On the other hand... On the other hand what? Oh, on the other hand, this relentless aversion is really becoming tiresome. I'm distracted for much more important duties. Even if Richard and Cassie are out of the country, they can still create trouble for me back in Springfield. Why not just be done with them for good? And how would you manage that? All right. What if I follow through on the plan of deploying the guards, purely for show, and instead of preventing the escape, I allow it to happen? Why would you allow Richard and Cassie to escape? Well, Cassie frees Richard from his cell, and then they make it out of the palace somehow. They run across the palace grounds, and as they're climbing over the wall, the guard spots them, shouts halt, but did my tenacious brother and sister-in-law actually halt? No. They keep going, leaving the guard no recourse but to shoot them. What do you think?
I think that killing Richard and Cassie is not a viable alternative. In fact, it could be counterproductive, to say the least. Oh, you're right. I'm just overindulging myself. Right now, the public thinks that Richard is under arrest for his own protection. If something were to happen to him, they would never forgive you. More importantly, you would never forgive yourself. You see, Beth, that's why I need you so desperately left to my own devices. My imagination just run wa runs wild. But you... Oh, you ground me. You... You're horrified, aren't you? No. Yes, yes. You, you, you think I'm a despicable person, that I'm capable of everything of which I've been accused? No. No, I think... I think that the one thing you've wanted your whole life is so close that you can taste it. And you want it so badly that you're being overzealous. Just keep me on the straight and narrow. You promise? That's it. No, thanks. Really. Uh, they're real. Thank you. Right. Michelle? You knew about this? Just for a couple of weeks, Frank. A couple of weeks? Frank, you and I should have a conversation at some point. No kidding. You... You set Danny up. No, I was trying to protect him. After you, you set him up, you, you phony little lying, you... Right, watch it, watch yeah, it, you, okay? You, you watch it, all right? If I didn't have a bullet in my arm, I'd take you and you both apart so fast that well, you... I, really, I wouldn't recommend that, Anthony. You're in enough trouble as it is. Okay, look, let's cool it with the threats, okay? Now, this guy's our collar, not yours. How long have you guys been working on this case behind our backs? The correct people were informed, the people that needed to know. Really? And who might that be? Your commissioner. Six months ago, when we put Mary in the field. Yeah, good old Mary. Mary, who immediately identified herself, knowing that I was a law enforcement officer. Due to the sensitive nature of the operation, we had to keep things on a strictly need-to-know basis. We needed to know. Yeah, and now you know. Do you know how many hours my people put on this case? Well, then you'll appreciate the rest. You are relieved, Detective. Oh, no... No, I can't have heard that right. I think he just relieved us As from our case. As of this moment, any and all investigation into any organized criminal activity in Springfield is federal jurisdiction, and it will be organized by my office, okay? Yeah, I understand. You're stealing our case. No, think of it as a collective effort, a common objective. With you in charge. Our first objective, people, is to find Danny Santos. I trust the three of you to follow up on any leads that you have received so far. Oh, you trust us. I'm all warm and fuzzy all over. While Agent Murdo and I take a statement from Michelle and Tony. I've already made all my statements. Are you sure about that? You know, we have information that some of these people don't have. And when you hear it, I guarantee you're going to be singing a different tune, Anthony. I think this is one of those times we need to cut Mara some slack. That would be condoning her relationship with Tony. That would be condoning this uh, uh, irresponsible behavior. Joshua, she's, been... she's almost 18. We can't keep having the same fight. Well, we wouldn't have to if she would listen to us. Well, that's the point. Pretty soon she won't have to listen to us. Pretty soon she'll be able to do whatever she wants to do. You really want her to leave this house and move in with Tony? You want to lose that contact with her? Because if we keep pushing her, that's what'll happen. Let's be honest with each other. Mara did the only thing she could do last night. She couldn't just leave Tony in the lighthouse to bleed to death. She, she couldn't take him to the police. She couldn't take him to the hospital. I understand all that, and so do you. Reva, we can rationalize this thing all we Joshua? want, but it's not... If Mara hadn't come downstairs when she did, 
If she hadn't have knocked that man out, I'd be dead right now. Can we please just let this one go? Reva. I mean, I don't know what I was doing. So stupid. Coming down here, being all protective like some mama bear, thinking I could take on the world. And all I could do was stumble and Reva. bump into furniture and try to swing a lacrosse stick through the air. Okay, okay. He had a gun. <laughs> Great. Noah? Yeah, yeah, remember me? What's wrong? Nothing, nothing, but uh, driving to work, I heard something on the radio. Seems my fiance was attacked last night by an armed intruder, and she didn't even tell me. But I can see you managed to tell Josh. I'm sorry. I, I am. It, uh, it just excuse all happened. Excuse me, she so called me because my daughter was involved, and when Mara's involved, I'm involved. So I noticed. And you always manage to make things worse. So, uh, so tell, tell me something, Josh. What kind of punishment did you hand out tomorrow? You know something, time? no, I don't think you fully comprehend uh, exactly what happened here. Uh, let me let me guess. Uh, you uh, you grounded her. You forbid her to see Tony, or you responded in some other equally. Oh, involved please, way. please, don't tell me you're going to lecture me on parenting, all right? Unless you have a, a kid or two hidden around someplace, sort of like the ex-wife. Okay, that you, okay, you guys, see, about. Josh, that's the problem yeah. right there. You know, you see what a stubborn, single-minded, painted neck you are. Ah, yeah, you and Reba seem to share that charming trait. Oh, gee, thanks. Which means that Mara's inherited doubly. Now, what makes you think you can change her mind when nobody can change yours? Your point would be? The point is that Tony adores Mara. He's laid down his life for her. Mm. The problem's not with the kid, it's with where he, he comes from. He is not a from. kid. Excuse me, he is not a kid. He's an adult. He, he can choose to be out of this lifestyle, but he's not done that. Because that's all he knows. Instead of condemning him for it, why don't you... Try to understand him. Hey, maybe oh, even yeah. help him. Oh, yeah, help him. There yes. you go. Sure. Yes. Uh, why don't you show him a better way, Josh? A way to earn your trust instead of your wrath. I mean, give him a way to get out of the gutter. Somehow, I don't think that's my job. You're Mars' father. The kid wants your trust. If anybody can get through to him, you can. His brother is a priest. If his brother can't get through to him, why do you think I'm going to okay, get through Okay, then come up with a different ID, but just try something different, because every time you walk through that door, you make a mess out of things, and you leave Reva here to pick up the piece. I think you better stop right there. <laughs> Father. <laughs> I got you. I have you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Turn around. Ta-da. Open. Company? You're surprising me with company? Yes, I am. Well, honey, surprises usually are, are things you've never done, <laughs> or you, you haven't done in a long time. This is one of those things. But, honey, we, we come here all the time. <laughs> yeah, not like this. We're having breakfast alone. I use my powers of persuasion, several hundred dollars, to convince Buzz to give us this place to ourselves this morning. Why? Why? To have breakfast, of course. I mean, how, how, we get five, ten minutes a day to ourselves, stops. I'm trying to steal just a little more time for us. Turn around and look. I thought the candles for breakfast were particularly decadent. Everything you love to eat and drink, all the things the kids hate and you love. Ross, I, 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 you shouldn't have done this. What? Is it? You don't like my surprise? I... When you do things like this, it, it, it scares me. <laughs> it scares you? I just keep waiting for the other shoe to drop, you know. When I get the call from the guy store telling me that I got the wrong one. You know, my guy's across town and he's breaking another girl's heart. I told you years ago that you got the right guy. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. I want you to know that I notice. beautiful you are, all the things that you do, I notice with the kids, with the book, the way you dress, the way you wear your hat, I notice I don't always say it though, and today I thought I should. With breakfast. With breakfast, yeah. You know, I have almost everything I could possibly want under one roof, and I just want to make sure I take all the time to get to it all. You make me happy, Blake. 
I love you, Ross. I love you, too. So we can't eat now, right? We can eat. Thank you. alienating you for good. Impossible. There is an aspect to my dastardly plan which does have merit. And that would be? It gets Cassie out of the way. Permanently? Oh, that woman has been a festering thorn in my side. But, oh, as long as she's on the lamb, she's a threat. Just think of the trouble she could cause at my coronation. No, no, no. I need a reason to arrest her, too. Well, that's easy enough. You just do as you proposed. Let Cassie gain entry to the palace, to Richard's cell. Let her help him escape. Let them get as far as the wall. And then... shoot them. With a camera. All right, all right, go on. A video camera. You have an innocent bystander stationed in the crowd, someone who just happens to catch the whole thing on tape. And then you have all the ammunition you need to put Richard back in jail and arrest Cassie. They're silenced and no one gets hurt. Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant, Beth. You're brilliant. On occasion. You see, you see, this... This is what I've been missing my whole life. I need someone to be a, a helpmate, a partner. You, Beth, you, you're a gift from heaven. I don't know what I've done to deserve you. Mm. Mm. I have been wondering the same thing. Ouch. Mm. Do you realize, with this brilliant plan you've given me, it may solve all of our problems? It may be the final way to get Richard and Cassie out of here for good. My goodness. However, shall we pass the time? Mm. Right. I think we can come up with something. If ruling a country doesn't appeal to you. You appeal to me, Edmund. You. Uh -huh. I come bearing more gifts. Well, they're all for you. Yeah. So, do you have any problems at the cafe? No. In and out, no problem. I took the back roads. Long way around the side streets to make sure nobody followed me. Good. Because what's in these boxes is the key to freeing Richard. Without it, we don't have a prayer in hell. This thing is heavy. You ready? Yeah, open it. Let the games begin. Um, I was just thinking about the baby. Right. You know what? I'm going to go up and check on him. Mrs. Santos, would you just stay put, please? Sorry. Listen, do you have the tape on you? The one with Carlos and Tony discussing the hit? In my bag. You want it? No, no. Later. Not in front of the locals right now. I'm just going to rattle the kid's cage. Can I get you on your feet, please? I want a lawyer. It's not going to make a difference. I'm not saying anything without a lawyer. You know what, actually, that's fine, because you are going to need one, because you're under arrest. For what? Racketeering, half a dozen firearms charges, and, uh... Oh, yeah, conspiracy to commit murder. Conspiracy to whoa, commit whoa, murder. Whoa. How'd you figure that out? Do you want to answer them, or shall I? Wait, you know what? You've got this all wrong. Tony came here to warn us. If it wasn't for Tony, Danny would be dead right now. Are you sticking with that story? It's the only story I got. That's funny. 
because uh, we've actually heard otherwise. So why don't you wipe that little smirk off your face, big guy? Let's go. Well, well, hold on one second here. Not so fast. This is my collar, and he is in need of medical attention right now. Agent Itero, he really does need to go to the ER. Uh -huh. Okay, hold on one second. You can have him the second the doctor releases him. We will take him to the hospital. Fine, we'll tag along. Tony, I'm going to call Ross Marler. I'll have him meet you at Cedars. Tony, I'm so glad I found you. I just... May? What is she? It's not May, it's Mary, and she's with the FBI. And this jerk here are arresting me. Let's go. They're arresting you? Why? What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. Noah, are you always this self-involved? Because if you are, I think Reba's in for a rough road. Let me worry about you. You come busting okay? in here. The first thing you do is you lay into me. You don't even stop for one minute to ask Reba if she's okay. I could see that she was fine. Reba, you fine? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, sure. You can fine. Yeah, you can tell she's fine by the way she was crying when you walked in the door. Is this the way you take care of a woman that you supposedly love? Huh? She almost got killed last night. Where were you? Uh, hey, Josh, I would have been right here if you just thought fit when Reba asked me to move oh, in. Oh, I see, so it's my fault then. Hey. Oh, right. You no, know, yeah, Josh, sure. look, all I want to do is take care of Reba. Believe me, that's all I want to do. And, hey, I'd love to take care of your kids, too. But maybe, maybe I'd have a fighting chance if you would just get out of you, my you, way. You know what? I, I think I really need to cool down just a little bit. Excuse me. Reva, I will call you later. We'll talk about Mara and figure out what to do. We'll figure that out together, actually. And you, don't you ever lecture me about raising my children again. Never. Don't give me a reason to, Josh. Well, hey. Would you get up on the wrong side of the bed? <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. That was a long time coming. No, I'm sorry. I should have let you know what happened last night instead of having you find no, out on no. the news. It's all right. It's all right. No. No, it's not. What can I do to make it up to you? Ah, uh, you just did. Wow, that's did great. Yeah. I mean, that looks like it was made for you. It fits perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. I wrote down a couple things you might need. Rank, serial number, and regimen. Okay. In case anyone asks you any questions. Okay. Anything else that I need to know? Uh, just act as military and imposing as possible. Think of Dax on a bad day. <laughs> no? Perfect. That coupled with this uniform and the rest of the disguise... No one will recognize you at the palace. And I will be sharing cells next to Richard. This has been Guiding Light.